next uh, I'm going to do the ophthalmoscopic exam. I'm not going to dim the lights here so that you can see what I'm doing, but while you're practicing this in your group, you may want to dim the light enough so that the patient's pupils can dilate a little bit to make the exam easier. I'm going to dial the light intensity down on my ophthalmoscope so that the patient's pupils will constrict a little bit less. And I'm going to move my glasses to the side. Uh, those of you who wear glasses may find it easier not to wear your glasses so that you can get your eye closer to the lens on the ophthalmoscope. Okay. Uh, if you can find something that's at about your eye level, perhaps uh, something right about there, mm -hmm. I'm going to have a light that's going to be kind of bright mm -hmm. in your eyes. Best you can just stare right past me. Okay. okay. Now, I'm going to use my left hand here to uh, both for my own proprioception and to steady the patient's head. Also, that way, if I bump into something, I'm going to bump into my thumb uh, and not his eyebrow. And I'll get back here and check for his red reflex and then gradually come in. And if I'm about 15 degrees from the midline, I should come in right in on his optic disc. And I'm going to trace the vessels back towards the disc and then trace them out all four quadrants. Now just look at the light just for a minute. Okay. And I then do the same thing with the other eye. 